Hi folks. Well, um, yeah, quite a productive day on the van. Um, yesterday, I didn't get time to film much what's been going on. Um, it's quite a busy weekend here this weekend, so a lot of people around, everyone having a look at the van and uh, trying to get work done in between. The front end of the van is slightly different. Um, so we've got a nudge bar on the front, that's where I'm going to light my um, big spot lamps. Um, underneath I've put that um, tray, um, the kit that I talked about last time because part of the engine was exposed underneath. So it's a full tray, left, right and centre pieces. Um, that's quite good as well. I'll um, put a link in the video description down below to everything I'm talking about, the bull bar and all that. Um, interestingly enough on the bull bar as well, there's a panel van here, um, I think it was an Adria, and it was a van conversion, obviously, so it was a panel van converted into a motorhome, whatever they class it as, but the chassis is different than a normal panel van. So they couldn't put the, um, the bull bar on, didn't have the right mounting brackets on the front, which is, I find, a bit weird. I can understand, because um, the, the company that sells that does say, this will not fit a motorhome. And I looked on my last van, and sure enough, yeah, the brackets aren't in place, but on this they are. Um, like I say, the under tray, probably a bit fiddly. I had to put it up on the ramps just so I can get right underneath and um, get that fitted. Um, but we yeah, are really happy about that as well, because now everything's covered underneath. So it's coming along nicely. And like I say, having that cover underneath as well really helps, because it's not going to get all the crap and everything thrown underneath the engine. Um, I did check the gearbox while I was out there. There's no weeping on the gearbox, so that's all right. Um, and like I say, now we've got all the windows in as well. So we are a three window van. And you may be able to notice through the windscreen, but yeah, bulkhead's gone. And um, the single seat's in and the double seat's been taken out as well. And to everyone that said, oh, you have to drill these out. No, just get some mold grips on, something like that. Um, they're just kind of like a riv nut. So you don't have to drill them out. It's actually just um, a bolt, just like the rest of them. So it makes the job much easier. It's going to get a really good grip around it. There we go. And once you get to a certain point, it should be just finger tight. There we go. So they're just security bolts that snap off. It's a normal bolt like the rest of them, but the heads snap off for security. So as long as you can get a pair of mold grips around the outside, they remove really easily. The inside of the van obviously is still looking pretty bare. Um, I did start to do a bit of the uh, insulation, this stuff, um, up across the top, um, in between waiting for all the glue and the bonding stuff to dry for the windows and that. Um, but obviously I need to start running cables and things as well. So I'm not actually filling this side yet because I've got all sorts of uh, CCTV and aerials and power cables and that to run. I put all the blinds on the windows as well and I've probably done it in a way that might seem a bit alien as well. It's certainly different than every caravan or motorhome we've had. And that is, like now, I'm getting blinded by the light there through the sun. So you can just pull it down a little bit to get a bit of shade but still see out and then the fly blind can come up yeah i've decided that um that's the way i think they work best so manufacturers yeah listen to your people fly blind at the bottom and then the blackout blind at the top and i've not done anything with this door right now as far as insulation that and um, because there are two bars on that ladder um, that need to be um screwed in and bolted into the door. Um, I've done it on my previous video, so I won't go into it. So today's gonna be another one of those days where I watch myself in the past, um, so I can fit the Fiamma rear ladder and the Remis blinds. I just want a bit of privacy, so if I park the van up somewhere, like while I'm going getting stuff, that nobody can see in. Yeah, then we just get cracking on with other jobs. Obviously there are many, many, many other jobs to do. All right, let's get this uh, van looking more like a camper. I'm um, stripping the door down to put the Remis blinds on, but I'm also gonna fully strip the door down uh, to put the sound deadening mat in the doors as well, just to quiet it down. So there we go, every bit of space I can now in that door, behind the speakers, 
down that angle there, inside there. It's already got a bit that comes with from the manufacturer, but obviously I've added much more in there. So I'll put the door back together and then fit the surround now, which involves a bit of drilling and such. So that's the blind fitted. And yeah, I also did a bit of color changing. <laughs> so I've painted the black panel that goes behind the door. I just think it looks nicer. Matches now. Do need to clean that though. But yeah, little touches, little touches. And then I think they just make a big difference. I was going to paint the Remis blind black as well. Might do that in the future. And there we go, folks. That's the other side done. So now I've got the shade. And I did like the black, so I've gone for black on this side as well. I think it looks really cool. This job turned out to be a little bit more than I thought. I originally started to strip down to do the blinds. And then I thought I wanted to take this top shelf out because it'll make it easier to do the uh, insulation and everything across the top. And then I worked out, apart from the fact that there are a couple of bolts there and there, which you can see there, it's also bolted behind the headline in the corners as well. So that's a massive pain. And then the funniest thing is that you need not one, not two, not three, but four different drivers because some of the bolts are different size heads and then that one's actually just a standard posi um, that one's an allen key um, and then the other ones wherever that one's gone is a hex uh, torx driver <laughs> so you just couldn't make this up this is built in the same factory but now you know you know whoever does that one doesn't do that one there so why would he have the same tool like i say i needed to kind of pull that out to put the cable in that's going all the way to the back there for the reverse camera that I've not fitted. Um, and in doing so, I thought that if I take all this out, then it gives me better access to, to do spaceship mode in there. So that's spaceship mode in there, all sealed and taped. There we go. One blind, front blind and side blind, all done. Absolutely brilliant. It is a faffy job and it's a shame that that plastic across the top doesn't match in with the other plastics to supply, even though it's all in the same box. I keep coming in from the van bit into the cab bit because I'm doing the cabling at the moment for the uh, reversing camera. So I'm going to get my tools out the back, coming into the front and there's something different and it's hurting. Yes, that. Obviously, I've come from a motorhome where, where this was a skylight. This just wasn't there. <sighs> Smacked me head about five times now. Strangely enough, though, just as you know, a bit of a comment, um, the last panel van that we had before we got the motorhome was just like this with the low roof on it as well. Just shows you how easy you get used to things. So as you can see, the ladder is now fitted. That's all good. Uh, that's enabled me to get up on top and I can clean the roof and all that without worrying about getting another ladder out. I went to fit the new brake light, which I've actually got working, but the camera that comes with it is just totally dead. Um, so not only doesn't it work for the van electrics, I also got my EcoFlow out because you've got those little um, two pin connections on the back. So they come with little cables and they're great for just doing little bits of testing on things, you know, little bits of electrical testing that. So I tested it on that as well. Now, now they're totally dead. So I've had to order another one, which should come tomorrow, and then return this one, which is faulty. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.